up, everybody? Alan Johnson with the AJ team. Sammy Leagueway here with the AJ team also. Your favorite realtor, <laughs> right? So today we're going to talk about a subject um, that I think is, is pretty important to anyone who's in business, who, yes. who's, who wants to network, who wants to grow, um, is how to pass a referral, right? Pass a referral. How to pass a referral. So there are four tips that we found that have been really effective for passing a referral, right? Yeah. So number one, only refer who you believe in. You mm. only have one chance to get it right. So if you really think about it, like when you're passing off a referral, you're actually passing off like your your, your integrity. Yeah. You're passing off your judgment. You're passing off a lot of other things. So if you're going to refer someone, make sure that you get it right. If you haven't, say, for example, if you haven't used someone as a, you know, um, you know, for a, you know, for their HVAC service or mm -hmm. to fix their roof, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that you know someone who's done it and someone who's had a very successful, uh, a successful um, transaction and everything was done smooth because you only have one chance to get it right. So I think also that's a good point, Alan. I think that's spot on. I think um, another point is also identifying one or two things that about that person that you actually like. For example, like a buddy of mine, he's a personal trainer. Um, and I've one I've used them before so I can personally vouch for experience uh, working with them a lot of times you're passing someone off and you haven't worked with them it's kind of tough to say how they're going to be able to handle that referral right so personal experience and two also uh, for him he actually works with the, um, the rest and cheerleaders so I think also being able to say who else they've worked with is also going to vouch for that referral as well so personal experience is really important uh, before you pass that pa pass, pass that referral, pass referral. He's, he's, now he's taking a referral <laughs> <laughs> so that's a great point that's a great point because when you're when you're stamping it and that's number three when you're yeah. stamping it and believing it which is uh which is uh number the point number three yeah um you don't have to sell them yeah you, know, you can say hey look my guy my guy you talk you talking about chase hey, yeah chase okay. yeah you know <laughs> so so my guy chase um you know number one i've used him he's a phenomenal trainer mm -hmm. um and then number two he works with a professional sports organization like right. he literally is the person who trains them so if he's good enough for them and i've used them i would never refer them to you refer him to you if i didn't think, think he was going to get exactly. you results right exactly exactly and actually points to number four which i also think is really really important it's the most important one i think is connect them and kind of get out of the way. Uh, you use social media. We have a lot of social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever you use in your personal life, connect them on that platform, whether it's a text or an email, just connect them and make sure that that person you're referring them to and the referee is actually being able to communicate very easily. So I think that's very, very important. A lot of times we want to hold it and control it when you can just easily just pass it off. And, and they can communicate themselves. Right. So. They can run with it, right? They can run with it. They right. can go do their thing. And oftentimes what I find is, and you can talk about this as yeah. well, people have, will have the best intentions. They will give a phone number, right? Mm -hmm. And they'll say, hey, call my guy. And that person never gets a call, right? <laughs> really because a lot of the times, most people are, are nervous to make that first contact. And if you're referring to someone that you trust, and that person knows how important that person is to you, so they're going to make every effort possible to make sure they reach out to them. So. Don't worry about it. Just pass them on, communicate with them, connect them, however you do. And I'm sure uh, that referral will get taken care of. Word of mouth for small businesses mm. oftentimes represents 75% of their revenue. So it's very important that we get these, uh, how we understand how to pass a referral because it can literally change someone's business. And oftentimes someone that you care about and someone mm. that you want to refer, you can literally change their business. So now you guys know how to. Pass a pass referral, AJ oh. team style. So if you have a referral, guess what we want you to do? Pass it. Just pass it. Just pass it our way. Pass, pass it. There we go. Pass it on to us. <laughs> Alan Johnson with the AJ team. You have the dream. We have the address. And we'll holler at you soon.